Hey my babies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Raya J and I'm back with another video. In today's video, my babies, it's the same day as the previous content video. I'm going to be giving you all another, <clears throat> excuse me, another mukbang. And I just finished cooking, literally, you can probably see the steam rising from my food. But I just made some chicken and potatoes with white rice and corn. I'm going to show you all. Chicken and potatoes, rice, corn. Of course, I got hot sauce all over it, per usual. So, yeah, I'm just going to give y'all a quick mukbang. Because I'm about to tear this shit up. I was watching um, Hollywood Unlock. And then I was like, should I do a mukbang? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you for the food a lot. Thank you so much for blessing me with the food. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to buy the food, provide this food for me. And thank you to the people that distributed this food for me. Uh, thank you for the skills to cook this food and nourish me and my family's bellies and souls with this food. I ask that you bless this food a lot. Thank you so much for this overall experience. And shut a lot in there. So, let's dive in. And I already watched Wendy this morning, but y'all know she comes on. Mmm. I don't know if she comes on twice a day. Oh my god. I like to make my food spicy. But my daughter doesn't like spicy food. So I always have to like... I always have to like tone down the spice of my food. You know, with respect for my daughter. Because. Because she, um. Because she doesn't do spice. I wish she did. Like, it's crazy because when she was younger, she used to eat jerk chicken with me. I used to cook jerk chicken. I used to cook all my spicy shit. My daughter used to eat that shit, okay? I don't know what's going on. As she's gotten older, she don't like spice. That's okay. That's why I drown my shit with hot sauce. Because <laughs> mama need that spicy shit, okay? Look at that corn in my tea. I wish I could feed all of y'all my babies. <laughs> I really do. I love to cook for people. If you know me, I mean, you know me well, you know, like you came over to my house before. You know, we, we ha we've been in some kind of cahoots. Then most likely I've cooked for you and you ate my food. Either I offered you to eat, you know, to eat or... Mm. Or you was over my house and you was like, can I get a plate? You know, you asked, can I have something? I'm, I love, I have great hospitality. I love, it's just who I am. You know, I care about people. <laughs> Even growing up, like, I used to feed these bitches. Dress these bitches, help these bitches glow the fuck up. I used to help these bitches talk to their own man. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> but for real, though. I love, I just care about people, you know? Once I care about you, I will always care about you. Even if we fall out of friendship, whatever, you know, love, whatever the fuck. You know? I'm real, I'm naturally like a great person with a great heart, you know? Okay. You might not know the title of your songs, but you do know that when you hear them, people love the Migos. And individually, the Migos, you get Charlie's baby father, Carly's baby. Sorry. You get Cory's baby. Ooh, that hot sauce went in my throat. Y'all see that picture back there? Right there? <laughs> My baby drew that picture. She said that's her and her grandma. <laughs> she loves her grandma so much. Every day she come home from school. She like, mommy, I miss my grandma. I love my grandma. I'm like, and she loves you too, you know? Yeah, I know my, mother's de my mother is deceased. So, and y'all know. And y'all know, if y'all watch my channel, if y'all are a true, if y'all are, you know, a true, my baby, then y'all know that um, I lost my mother when I was six due to breast cancer. And therefore, Rookie hasn't, you know, obviously has never met her grandma, but she knows her grandmother very well. She sees pictures of her grandma. She knows that her grandmother's in her heart. But she just misses her, you know? I tell her she misses you too. I'm trying to keep the camera on the food, but the food is just... I mean, the camera... That corn is so good. I might get another one. So y'all know now these kids is on our spring recess. I'm pissed with the food because I picked Luffy up today and I checked her book bag. I've been waiting for her spring pictures to, you know, come in. Because they had put on the, um, before the, before the kids took the pictures, they had put on the, on the paper. Oh, the pictures are going to be ready before the kids go to spring recess. And today's Thursday. The kids are officially on spring recess. You know, ain't no school for a, for a whole week. We can um, we can change. So I'm I check Rookie's book bag today. I'm like Rookie, did you get your pictures today? So I check her folder. I ain't shit in there. I'm like these motherfuckers. They lied. <laughs> they lied. Ah, what am I gonna do, rap? Just gotta wait. Guess they weren't able to get all the pictures, you know, ready. 
I just want to see my baby pictures. I want my pictures, you know? But it is what it is. Bet you wish you didn't mess up. Bet you wish you didn't. Some water. And they do the oh my god talk. They do that talk, but also they love her so much they feel that they know more about uh, her than us, but they're just two girls. Well, this so hopefully the weather's good tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be Friday. And um we wanna get out, go to the park, you know. Uh, oh, excuse me. And let's put his head in the spot. And then we'll talk, guys. Brittany has been in the mental facility since mid January. Um, and then Saturday we're gonna go hang out in Harlem. I told you that we're gonna go to the movies or whatever, get some food. Um, I'll probably do a mukbang in Harlem at the park that we're going to after we see a movie. Um, he said, "Yeah, stay tuned for that." And y'all know after this content video, I'll probably do another. I'll probably do another content video after this, before the last episode of No Dairy April. Ah, we're coming to an end, my babies. We are coming to an end. This potato. Mm. Look at this. Look at that. Jamie was begging Brittany, please take your medication, you know, so that so, so. the level you at. There's nothing shameful about admitting that you have to function in life. I know how to cook really good, my baby. That goes for you, that goes for Brittany, that goes for anybody. There's nothing shameful about that. But when you don't take your medication, you become harmful to society, yourself, your children, your family, and allegedly, um, this is when Jamie, her dad, forced her to go into that facility in January. My opinion? I believe, again, that the, I believe that the mother and father have Brittany's interest at heart. I don't believe that they're after her money. Oh, that girl's haircut was cute. I believe that if this is some sort of ruse that her sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, who stays out of the spotlight, so this mukbang is about to end, my baby. I just wanted to do a quick mukbang with y'all. No matter the topics that I bring to the channel, serious or what, you know, whatever you may feel. I also like to keep things light on the channel when I do my mukbangs and, you know, when I do my other content videos that I do. I like to keep things light, you know, and energy. So, look, I'm almost done. So that is the end of the mukbang with your girl Raya J. I want to say thank you all for watching, my babies. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in my next video. Peace and love.